presented by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Nabilo. Frank, we've called golf all around the world, but never at a golf course quite like this. Rich, we've picked a perfect day. It's usually uh, here about 64 people running around, battling it out for domination. All right, Frank, here we go on the first hole, set for, dare I say, takeoff from this aircraft carrier. Well, that's right, Rich. Uh, you really got to make sure that you get the right flood on this shot coming in because you want it to land soft on this uh, opening hole. It's uh, 186 yards to the middle of the green. Obviously, there's those uh, palms and trees to the left of the screen that have to be avoided. And of course, you don't want a beach on the right. Surely not. That will be a great look at birdie. This is a nine footer. But Frank, I thought that was in. Oh man, I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. He can really get red hot with a putter. Let's see what McElroy does. Even par early on. Now to the second hole, Frank, and just a look here. Uh, this green is clearly very heavily guarded. Yeah, you notice that guard shack on the right there. Uh, well, you better keep your head down because we're not sure whether or not that guard shack is actually empty. Could be a dangerous shot here at the second. Mm, and left trees, a little bit of sand. There is the bridge as well. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Settles in over the putt. That's a birdie for McElroy. He's just so explosive. Good spot to be in, fresh off a birdie. Yeah, all of a sudden you start to feel like you've got the game in hand. This is not hitting in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Let's see what the dominant number one player can do. Rory McIlroy now on the approach shot. Pretty good shot right there. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Good stroke right there. That's a par and stays at one under. Out of the next hole. This one is a long shot. Needs the heavy artillery on this. We've got to go over the solar panels and the radio tower. And this, the longest par three so far on the golf course beach between the Radar tower and the green. Trees adorn this as well. You're a little too long, you'll be surfing. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Made a good run at birdie. He'll have to focus now, try to walk away with the par. He'll take par and move on. Frank, you and I have called golf from around the world. In fact, we had our broadcast position in the Grand Canyon in a hot air balloon. 
Tell you what, I'm glad we didn't pick that spot to broadcast from. That would have been lights out early. It would have, but I don't even know if our observation tower that was situated in is going to be safe. Uh, already, the destroyers come and hit the land. And of course, the fifth hole, this par three, at just over 200 yards. Uh, that should be rather interesting, but hopefully we'll be safe. Let's uh, batten down the hatches while we watch the tee shot. Just five feet left. Has to like that one, another birdie to get to two under par. Up to the 6T, Frank, and we're back against that destroyer. You need to take it over that small island. Yeah, this is a little village too. And remember the double greens at St. Andrews? Well, this is a split double green. It's shared uh, in amongst the village. The green on the right, very, very small. So this uh, a very lengthy par three. It's gonna be a case of really ready aim driver for some. Well, this is straight at it. It is a really good line. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, that's a formality now. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Frank, looking at this hole, a player is going to need a detailed map from high above, maybe from the bomber squadron flying overhead just to get a sense of what they're trying to navigate. You can always go up in uh, one of those two lookout towers, just check the direction of the wind, see which way it's coming from, but not an overly long par three. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Uh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. Frank, this would jumpstart the round, a third straight birdie. Some good playing. So to four under with a second straight birdie. Partner, look at that. Left here at the eighth hole. You and I could shoot a little hoop. You want to play a little donkey? Yeah, it's uh, very observant of you, Rich. Also, the barracks just up ahead that protect the left side of this green. So there's a lot of visual intimidation on this par three. Follow the sandy trail and this green at the end. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. And it's a long way to the hole from here, never easy. How does that not go in? Amazing, stroke looked good, uh, line looked good, just did not take that final break. Showing no signs of weakness. That's a good putt right there. Stays at four under. Frank, it's been a real battle out here so far on the front nine. Let's uh, finish it off in style here. There's a great view just slightly right of the ninth green. Look out now. That's full of people. You might get the appropriate applause, maybe even a standing ovation. At least a salute. 150 yards approximately to that flag, but you have to be precise. And let's see how precise you can be. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Really has a feel on these greens. That is another birdie. This is impressive. Start of the back nine mission, Rich Lerner for EA Sports with my partner Frank Novello. Frank, tell us a little bit about the 10th. That is how it's done right there. What an approach shot. But now a chance for a birdie. Count it as six birdies for the day. The 11th hole here at Paracel Storm, now a military playground. Frank, certainly the players are thankful having traded the guns for golf clubs. Good time out there so far. A little bit of an obstacle course, though, here at 11. You can see the weather vanes that adorn the right side of this hole. Tee shot has to be played across that seawall. So once again, all carry. 
And let's see if he can land softly on the other side. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Frank, two is nice, but... Three is even better. Frank, the 12th hole here at Paracel Storm at 241 yards, Island Green. I can't think of a harder par three in the world. This hole, you really have to be wary on the direction of the wind because if it's coming off the island, then it's gonna blow it towards the water. It's gonna make this tee shot so much more difficult. Conversely, if you get a little sea breeze, it's gonna help, it's gonna hold it up there and make this whole play that little bit easier. Really having a good day and a good run right here. Two straight birdies, now eight under. Going right back to the large island here at the 13th, Frank. Trenches uh, behind will certainly protect anything that goes a little bit long. Left of this green, you better call in the Navy. Surely not. Well, that was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Wow, what a shot. Doesn't even need the putter. Frank, now at the 14th, and really a simple objective here. It looks like an old sand dune where they've just put a green on top. Uh, rather benign. Might just sneak up on you, though. It really just looks like green and beaches with a few palm trees behind. But beware. Should be safely on deck. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to savor for the rest of the round. I've heard of being on the zone, but this is uh, just making it look so easy. Just sensational golf. I mean, he, he is knocking down every flag stick right now. What a performance. 120 yards. Frank, this is just a pleasure to watch. A player hitting on all cylinders at the top of his game. Notice it's just flowing, too. There's not a lot of deep analysis going through his mind. Just one step in front of the other. If your swing's there, you don't have to find it. If your putting strike's there, you don't have to find it. Just let it happen. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. 16th hole here at Paracel Storm. And Frank, as we begin this closing stretch, strikes me, this is tough guy golf out here, isn't it? Well, it certainly is. Uh, you want to earn your stripes by playing this golf course. This is the place to be. In the spirit of conservation, we have some solar panels to boost up the finish. And uh, the hole not overly long. Let's see what the lieutenant can do this time. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, the incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. That's a birdie for McElroy. He's just so explosive. Now to the 17th hole, and as we come to the end of this round, you salute the players because they're out there carrying not only their golf clubs, but the med kits and the meal packs because this is no ordinary golf course. You have to be on alert, high guard all the time. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. On the green, and a chance for birdie. Frank, I was really impressed at three in a row. We're three times three now if this goes. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. This for nine in a row. Just absolute clinic out here. Frank, the job is almost complete here at the 18th hole, and a good job at that as we have seen some spectacular golf here at Paracel Storm in the South China Sea. Just one more battle ahead. The difficult 18, should they succeed, then I think they're worthy of a salute. Oh, this is right at it. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie. Could really use this one. It's for birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Frank, what a day of golf we saw out there around barricades and bomb shelters and battleships. Our commander on course performed admirably and, Frank, even at times heroically.
We've been stuck in trenches, Rich. We've seen boats be shipwrecked, but in the end, I think we defused Paracel Storm. Objective achieved. Mission accomplished. For Frank Nabilo, I'm Rich Lerner signing off after a successful tour of duty at Paracel Storm in the South China Sea.